welcome back. So, uh, last time we beat up Ming twice, and we beat up the Ottomans. This time, we're gonna beat up Ming again while taking out Jin Zhe. Imperialist War? Go. Ming is stupidly willing to jump in once again, which is totally going to screw them over. I'm just gonna take these forts and their capital as my first move. Their forts and their capital. Do not lose stability. Did we just win a battle already? And they're at war with France as well. It looks like France has come bowling in. French Ming Imperialist War and the Russian Ming Imperialist War. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the Ming. They're just in a bad spot all over. It's just not a good day to be the Ming. I wouldn't doubt that it'd be too long before a lot of their um their tributaries start rebelling too with their weakness. Not to mention they're losing their mandate rapidly. They're almost at the point where they take double damage. Which they'll just start to collapse even faster once that's a thing. Go take that fort. You guys just keep fighting up here. As you can see as well, Beijing is now mine. Go to Nanjing. Yeah, I've got a few rebels I want to go deal with. It being a bit of an issue. So which one just got siege down? Oh, the one in this territory. Well, you're not going to go deal with the rebels. Too far away. Not too far away, but you're a little bit busy. That's what I should say. Cut that army off so it's not an issue. Next tech on the dip. More conversions. And another advisor. Military dude. Three plus for the morale of armies. You're done taking that fort, you need to go deal with these rebels. As soon as you're done with this fort, you need to go deal with those rebels, because otherwise we're going to start losing everything. Or they will break away back into Mongolia and shit. We can't deal with that. Take that area, retake their capital. Keep burning down Jinzo. You go that way. And here comes their armies. Looks like France might have stopped their war. No, they're still in. They must have been just kicked out. Oh, that's alright. There you go. Okay, fine. Go there if that's where you're going. You're going over there and then you can come back and take that fort on the way in. These guys need to finish taking out this area. We've taken their capital. Next tech. Another idea. We can also afford to pay for enlightenment, which I'm going to do even though it's 10,000 ducats. It's the last one. It'll help. So now I have it. We have embraced enlightenment. It took Russia a long time to do that. They definitely hadn't done it by the 1755. Definitely were not up to that level of enlightenment by this point. Russia took quite a while to uh, modernize itself, which is fair enough. It's a huge land power that had a lot of people in it, so modernizing it was way more complicated than, say, Britain or some of the other Western powers. Like, I don't even know how I'd go about it, trying to do that. It was easy with the Western powers, you just got France, just had to get Paris and like a few other big cities to industrialize, and that was pretty much it. After that, everything else would fall into place, but not so easy like that in Russia. It did it to Moscow, St. Petersburg, who cares? There's people that live hundreds and hundreds of kilometers away that have never seen those cities.
Yeah, they're trying to retake Beijing. Of course they are. Alright, here we go. Bring him down. Focus all of our firepower down here on Asia, on Ming. I was gonna say on Asia, but mostly just Ming. I don't think Ming has their forces are just not doing well. Every time we fight, it gets worse. You go stop them retaking that fort. Yep, you're heading in there. You're heading there. French. Trying to get in on my work. All the work I've done first. I love that Korea was such a huge power before and now it's not really there anymore. It's kind of become weak. More revolts, for God's sake. Go away, revolts. Because I'm conquering too much land too quickly. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's just freaking the fuck out. All these Chinese people and Manchus over here is like, who the hell are the Russians? Why do they own my land? Get your damn pitchforks and kill us as are. We're going down to Zion. Let's get that fort. Across there. Across there. Take as much territory as possible and hurt the Chinese as much as possible as well along the way. Another battle that we just instantly won. We also managed to retake their capital annoyingly. Now we'll take it back. More rebels. Back the damn capital. Where are they? They're over there now. But these guys are running loops around taking out rebels. Left, right, and center. And once we're done with these forts, we'll move back north and deal with just the armies. Zian's done. Alright. Come down here and help him out. Because so I need two armies down here. Small army here. Just keep on taking this out. is just ridiculous. There's so many. I mean, it's, so there should be, I guess. It is China, but like, ugh, it's just too many. We take those rebels. You guys take out that province from the rebels. And then I can get you guys out of Jin Zhao and over in mainland Ming. Helping out. Everybody. Make them suffer. Except you, I guess, because Central Asian freaking rebels have risen up again like they do every single time I do anything. The sad part is the steps are barely even worth half the trouble it takes to hold them, and there's hardly any development there. Like, why do I put so much effort into having them? to end the empire. I mean, I'm already ending the empire. Don't be worry, game. I'm well and truly in the process of ending the Ming Empire. There we go. Cool. 
caught two of their armies off guard. Once again, two defeats to the Ming. Yep, and they're still making their way over to deal with those Central Asian Raiders. But Ming is just... Oh, I wasn't sure we were going to be able to deal with Ming. But Ming is actually not that bad. Not that bad once you break their spine. Oh yeah, and I just realised they're down to 19 mandate, which means they are now taking 50% extra shock damage. Which is like half my army's cannons. It's exactly what I do best is shock. this Ming army. Oh, I think I might have got it. Got it. Awesome. We take out Fun Zhao. We go there. We take this region. This is absolutely beautiful. Taking over Central Ming. We're going to take a bit of territory this time, I think. Support the church authorities. How are we going with the rebels? Did we get there? Yeah, we got there in time. Why is everything so expensive right now with all these ideas? All these events, I mean, they're just, all of them, it's like 1,000, 2,000 here, 3,000 there. Like, jeez, fuck you, Gam, I'm building money like you've never seen and I just keep losing it. Sack the city. Might as well keep finishing defensive ideas. Oh yeah, that would have been this slot, wasn't it? Ooh, and they have armies here again. That's a mistake. You don't want to have armies against me. That's how you die. In very large numbers. Well, now they're going to die to rebels. Oh, they're just not having a good day. It's not a good day to be a Ming. Manchu or any of those other people groups that live in this area. They won't all harm Chinese, I guess, at this point. They probably are now in this region. Although I think there's a lot of Mongolians still living in Outer Mongolia. Or is it Inner Mongolia? I confused. Outer Mongolia and Inner Mongolia. One of them's in Mongolia and the other's a region of China. And the one in China actually has more people more Mongolians living in it than Mongolians that live in China, uh, that live in Mongolia, which I always thought was hilarious. I don't know how they got that territory. I, I guess they just took it over at some point. It's kind of what China does. They just take what they want. Uh, I'll end this war very soon. Quarantine the poor, because I'm not going to be able to take that much more anyway, so... Ming. Sue for peace. Give me your current capital. Some of this coastline. Well, I'm not going to be able to take a whole lot, because I took some very rich coastal provinces. Oh, well, I can have that. I mean, that gives me a very rich coastline down here on the Ming coast. I will take that loss, and then Jing Zhao, you will hand over, over a whole lot of your land too. Although, actually, before I do that, let's see, yeah, maybe I shouldn't because of overextension. Otherwise, I'll just be way too overextended. Yeah, maybe we should, uh,. Just chill for a little bit. Is Tibet still one of their... It's still a tributary. 
maybe we'll declare war on Tibet next. That's our next forward thing, because we're gonna do another one. You know I'm gonna. We're gonna absolutely fuck Ming up. When I'm done, there will not be a Ming. In fact, with their mandate as bad as it is, I'll actually be surprised if Ming can hold its shit together before it has a Ming explosion. I'll honestly be surprised if they can. Build some actual manufactories again. Been a while. I can afford quite a few. Right now they're worth more than the counteries. Right, so we just quickly finish taking this lot out while we're waiting for all that to integrate. Province. I'm going to unseize the bit the rebels took. Is that rebels? No, that's Jingzhe. Probably will be rebels soon, though. No more rebels in Central Asia. Very good. What's Europe looking like? Austria is sort of climbing its way back. Weirdly. The Papal State's looking quite strong. Spain is, you know, Spain's looking pretty good. The Ottomans are looking a bit sickly. Still very strong though, they're still the fifth power. They're still stronger than Ming, apparently. Ethiopia's looking nice. They've almost conquered that whole horn of Africa. Munster? Wow, that's a lot of Africa owned by Munster. Actually, that's a lot of Europe owned by Munster. That's powerful. Munster and Hamburg, I'm pretty sure both start off as one state miners. That's impressive. The Holy Roman Empire, not, not quite what it was. I am surprised that Bohemia hasn't just become Protestant, so it can rule, because if it was Protestant, it or Austria would now be the ruler. Instead, they reformed. Oh, that's all right. We will continue converting. There's plenty to convert. It's all over in Asia now, which is weird, but it's plenty to do. Um... How much longer have we got until those Chinese provinces are all mine? Why is that one not working? Oh, is there rebels there? There is rebels down there, damn it. That'll slow it down. Are these wooden separatists? I think Ming will hold it together for this war. I don't think they'll collapse just yet. But I think after this war they definitely will. Like, I don't think there's any recovering after this. Force March, Liberty Desire... Let's do the naval engagement one. Not that I've had many naval battles yet, but when I do, let's make sure I'm good at them. Let's also deal with all these rebels that are spawning in the area I want. This, and then across here, and retake these coastal provinces. You head north and take out those little pretenders, I think they are. These are rebels, whatever they are. Take that province, and then this province. And there we go, all those rebels are dealt with. There we go, we're getting all the provinces now. And we're ready to take a tick. A dip tick. Getting close to having a military tech too. And a military idea. Or tech, I guess. Alright, convert the next three. So we've taken nine percent. Yeah, that's enough. Let's let's end that war. Let's, let's start with. We want this area, I'm pretty sure that's Vladivostok. Which is like a proper Russian area. Could be wrong about its exact position, but I think Vladivostok's here. Like, I think that port is Vladivostok. 
Or maybe it's here. So I know they have a border with North Korea. It's a fairly thin one. They don't own all of this region, obviously. China owns most of it. Coalition may form against me, which is Jing Zhao. I don't care what Jing Zhao has to say. I just broke them. I'll take most of Korea. Can I take all of Korea? I can. I can, in fact, take all of Korea. We can lower that a bit, down to 100. And then you go down there and deal with these rebels. We are now a major Asian power. If we're just a major power in general, we now own everything from Norway all the way over here. And by the way, was I right? Because it should change its name now. One of these should be Vladivostok. Yep, there it is, Vladivostok. The one's the one with the port on it. Look at our old Russian territories back. Well, not back. We've officially conquered them at this point. We didn't own them before. Soon enough, there'll probably be a Russo-Japanese war. The way things are going over here. And 146%! Oh dear, we're gonna have Central Rebels forever. Yep, here they go. I didn't realise that was gonna quite kill me the way it did. Already getting Rebels. We keep an eye on where they're spawning. Persian Revolutionaries! Wasn't good for the world last time that happened. As long as they all spawn over here with my army, it's alright. If they start spawning all over the place, it'll be a problem. Yeah, use the ships. You go deal with them. There we go. Seventeen sixty-three. Oh, also ship me up there because uh, there's more rebels to take out. Yeah, so far the rebels have been okay. Okay. Please just be okay until sixty-five. It's okay for some of you to spawn, but please just don't all come out at once. Might move one of these over here. Confucianists. It's another large part of why we're getting rebellions. The different cultures and religions. I just have to send in the troops to Rostov, which I'm pretty sure is all the way over here somewhere. Yeah. Right there. Go deal with that. Damn peasants uprising. Stay the fuck down, Rebels. I will put you down no matter how many times you get up. You know what? You go down there. I'll send this army to deal with them. They just keep coming. Lucky I have such a large army and my manpower is just apparently infinite now. No matter how many wars I fight, it just seems to keep going up. Which is a good thing, because I hate manpower, I hate that being a problem. So we've also got rebels up there. You need a new general. So no more up here, good. Are you in Central Asia? Because there always is. Of course there is. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be rebels in Central Asia? Central Asia exists, doesn't it? Also the Caucasus, although they haven't been too bad for a while. Get down there. You go deal with those problems. I'm sending an army to go deal with these problems. Go, 
we divided them up. And go over there. I think we just got most of them. No, but we're about to. We're about to take most of it. Oh, why did I not have that one already calling? Alright, there we go. We've, we've withstood the worst of it. There'll still be some rebel spawn, no doubt. Still some in the field. Go we deal with those. Deal with those. Take them off that province. And then bada bing bada boom. It's all dealt with. Yeah, fuck off rebels. Rebel scum. No time to deal with them. I swear, every time I deal with you, you just get bigger. Every single time. 200 admin, give me that admin. Which I probably should have taken a mill so I could... Oh, do another idea, but that's fine. We'll take the national tax. We'll also build some more manufactories or maybe coal plants. Apparently we can only build one. Well, we'll build it. And then we'll build a bunch of manufactories, like 9,000 worth. Manufacturing powerhouse over here. Okay, let's all get ready to move in on Ming once again. Because it hasn't been done before. Why can you not... And get in there. Can't, oh, you can't pass through these people. Check a tie. Give me goddamn access. Dally, give me access. Thank you. Appreciate that, Dally. Port of arms by Yemen. Against Burgundy. Nah. I'll just lose the prestige. I don't really care about your alliance anymore. I'm not fighting all of Europe for you. I'm busy in Asia. There's Asian wars to be fought. Alright, so Tibet. And Ming is stupid enough to come in on your behalf again. Very well. If they wish to die, they can die. I definitely won't be stopping them. Go take all the forts first, as always. Much simpler. Let's we'll quickly take out these parts of Tibet so then we can move down and do the main part. The actual Tibetan mountain range. Tibetan? T Tibetan. And this video just got banned in China along with half the series because it keeps saying Tibet and mentioning Tibet as if it's not part of China. Which it shouldn't be. It probably, you know, won't be one day if things continue the way they are and China eventually collapses. Now I'm definitely banned in China. I just said they'd collapse. I'm banned forever. Can't even step foot in Asia. Now I'll get taken out. Children run nice and fast from us. Who's beat their main army again? And once again, we're just going to move further in and continue to beat them down. Take that part of Tibet and then move in further. As per the usual. Oh, we caught that army. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's end that part there. And, uh...
I'm going to have to do another part straight away because I don't want to start another part in the middle of a war, which means I'm going to have to stream pretty much as soon as I finish this. But oh well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.